Welcome back to the show, everyone. Of course, bullying should be constantly uh, at the top of your mind, being aware of it, understanding uh, the roles that we can all play in lessening bullying, and also making sure that kids are living a healthy, happy existence. And there are a couple of great things we're going to talk about right now. We're joined by Artie Champol. She is from Metropolis Metrotown, along with Loren Davies from Kids Health Phone. How are hey you guys? How are you? Hi. Hi. Now, Thank first you. and foremost, you two are wearing the pinkest shirts. I are think. you ever? Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about Pink Shirt Day. Why wear pink uh, and what it's all about with the campaign? Well, um, Pink Shirt Day is all about raising awareness of anti-bullying and, and what bullying does to our communities and our kids. And so Metropolis and Metrotown has partnered with Kids Help Phone um, on this initiative this year and we're trying to raise funds and raise awareness of the issue. Well, let's keep on the t-shirts for a second because you guys have done something really cool because I, I think everyone has their personal view, their personal feeling, and unfortunately their personal experience with bullying, uh, whichever side of the equation that they, they end up sitting on. Um, and you guys are allowing people to customize t-shirts which I think is a really cool idea. Yeah we, we thought it was a pretty cool idea too. Um, what we're doing is we've created a t-shirt design contest so um, people could log on to our Facebook page Metropolis at Met, design their pink t-shirt with a message um, about bullying or anti-bullying um, and then the shirt with the most votes will be designed and printed and sold at Metropolis with all the proceeds going to Kids So Help can people share them on their great. Facebook page as well? Yeah. And, and yeah. <laughs> We've gone all social media and um, so you could tweet it, you could um, share it through your Facebook friends, you could take the link and email it to your friends. Uh, here's a couple of the Love the is shirts. louder, I love that message. Yeah. And I mean it just shows here how many messages that you can put on there just to promote uh, Pink Shirt Day and the anti-bullying campaign. Yeah, so what um, people could do is that they could upload their own design if they're crafty and they know how to use, um, yeah. you know, those fancy. Or if they programs. have images and yeah. Yeah, you, you could upload it like this one, rethink pink, or you could use some of the templated designs that we have there. We have some fonts and some shapes and whatnot. So uh, it runs the gamut. It lets people create their own message nice. and be creative. Okay, let's Look at talk all the likes about you kids' help nice phone, Loren. Uh, kids' help phone has been around for a very long time and it serves such a great years. purpose. Tell us uh, what kids' help phone is all about. Well, kids' help phone is a beneficiary of this campaign. And we're so, so thankful to Metropolis at Metrotown for, for doing that for us. Um, kids Help Phone is a go-to resource centre, counselling resource centre for kids in Canada. And we service kids from ages 5 to 20. Kids Help Phone has been around for 22 years. Amazing. We're completely anonymous and confidential. And for the over 6.5 million kids in Canada, we're there 24-7, And how much of the phone calls are about bullying? Because we hear about it. I mean, the internet has made it so much more difficult for kids who are bullied. Yeah. But how many of the calls are about kids in a bullying situation? Well, to give you an idea, last year we had 2.2 million contacts, and out of that 2.26% .2, were bullying, which equates to over 140,000, oh and that's equivalent goodness. to about 400 a day. That's a horrible number. Wow. I know, and I know, and another good thing that we should think about is it's not just the people that are being bullied that contact us, it's also the bully. They're yeah. also reaching out and saying, I don't feel good about what I'm doing, so it's full circle. We're trying to tackle it from both ends. Well, that's what I meant earlier when I said both sides of the equation, because yeah. everybody has an experience with this on, yeah. on one side or the other. I mean, and people have to figure out a way to reconcile this in their lives and, and sort of deal with all of it. Um, you guys have also branched out in a lot of interesting ways as well, because, mm -hmm. of course, kids help phone, uh, but you guys are available, <laughs> internet, and, and all these different ways. And anonymity, you mentioned it, but whether you're online or whether you're on the phone, that's a really important aspect of Kids Help Phone, isn't it? Just to, it is. for the kids to make sure that they have a safe place. Yeah, it's very safe. It's confidential. It's they don't have to tell us who they are, or where they're from, and oftentimes they come to us as the first point of contact. They feel hopeless. They're looking for hope. And right now we're also piloting chat, so kids can call us. They can post us, almost like sending an email online. And now chat is another new thing because that's where kids are. That's and how they like you rely on volunteers for fundraising initiatives and things we like do. that. But when kids are actually yeah. talking or contacting contacting someone uh, through Kids Help Phone. They're dealing with a professional counsellor, yes? They are. All of our counsellors are professional and they're, they're there 24-7. Yeah, and because we're, we're talking about Pink Shirt Day and the anti-bullying campaign, when you do encounter a child who's called in and says, you know, I've been bullied and they're feeling terrible, what kind of advice do you give kids in that situation? Well, the counselor will walk them through that and they'll, they'll try to figure out where they are in that moment and the main thing that they try to do is give them hope. We never tell a child what to do, just give them scenarios on how to make the situation better. And take that next positive step yeah. forward. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Artie, how long are you guys keeping the Facebook page up and how long is this... Uh, 
uh, availability for people to design their own shirts? And the designing is up until February 15th at noon, um, and then we're going to pick a winner, and then the shirts, it'll be printed and starting to be sold at Metropolis um, on February 17th to March 1st. Oh, what an $10. exciting thing for the winner. Thanks so yeah. much, both of you. And Thanks, once you again, you can go to the Facebook page to design your own anti-bullying shirt. And of course, Kids Help Phone is always there if you are in need of help. You can give them a call and also find them online. Yeah, you saw at the bottom of our screen, uh, the Facebook is Metropolis at Met. You can find it on there. Design your own shirt, share it with your friends, and uh, maybe everyone will be wearing your design uh, for uh, taking a stand against bullying. You guys, thank you so thank much. You. Thank Real you. Real pleasure. We're gonna